Okay, hope everybody's having a good Sunday. Uh, as many of you know, it's Dollar Tree uh, DVD time again. And I hadn't realized they came out Friday. So the first Dollar Tree I went to, um, I believe it was Saturday night, and it was picked over. But I did find, uh, that's where I found most of my titles. Then I went into town and um, picked up uh, I went one more title. It was a dreadful trip. The first Dollar Tree I went to, a lot of people were trying to get in the store and they couldn't uh, because it does not open at 10 like it used to. It now opens at 11. And, and then I remembered another store down the street that opens at 10. And then people were trying to get into that store and it said, sorry, um, we're going to open at 12 today because of the staff. So back and forth, back and forth to these stores and had to do, try to find something in between to do, which was not much open. Um, so I'll just show you what I picked up at the first store and then the last store. And then the last store that I went to, I got absolutely nothing because um, there's another one on the same street all the way down at the other end. And it had um, no new titles, just old titles, and it was a huge pile of mess. So people just basically throw them up in the air and see where they land, and those people should uh, have to clean up their mess. It's not fair that we have to clean up the mess for all these people that throw stuff around. So um, I will get into the movies here, and then I might show you some um, records I picked up. So this is one of the few DVDs I picked up. This is Fireworks uh, from the producer of Worldwide Sensation Your Name. Um, it's an anime title. I believe this is a Shout Factory and almost everything I grabbed was Shout Factory, which was amazing. I watched one or two DVDs. I'm sorry, what? watch one or two videos already. Uh, some people were finding a Shout and other people were finding just old titles. Um, Magical Halloween Adventure. Uh, just about every Halloween Sesame Street featuring Elmo was there. I just grabbed one because you don't need very much of it if that's not your thing. Uh, so there's that one. Now the rest are all anime titles. This is the one I picked up today, Big Fish and Begonia. I may have seen this, but I'm not sure. It sounds familiar to me. Um, so I'm not sure. So it really does sound familiar to me, but I'm not sure that I've seen it. From the ancient Chinese legends come an exciting tale of myth and magic. That's another shout title on Blu-ray. The Digimon Adventure Try, I think is what it is. Confession. Um, so some sort of glare coming from somewhere. I don't know where exactly that's coming from. Um, so there's that one. Again, another shout title. This one here is Sound. Bluphonium, the movie, Our Promise, Brand New Day. Not really sure about that one. Not sure of any of these. Um, again, as I said, these are all shout titles, which is worth something. Uh, Satellite Girl and Milk Cow. I saw somebody else grab this, but I think they got it on DVD. Um, some of these things are coming with slip color covers, and some of them are not. Um, but I grabbed just about every anime title, which was only one of one. Um, the first store I went to really had the best um, selection. Napping Princess, a film by Kenji uh, Kamiyama. And that is the last one I grabbed. So let me know if you know anything about these. I think one was marked PG... I think one was marked PG-13. This is the only one. I did see Johnny English, the movie on DVD, but it was in Spanish. So I just had to leave that one there. And for the LPs... Uh, the Goodwill Bins is getting a mountain of records coming in. Uh, th there's rumor that they came from a closed store. I'm not really sure what that is, but why would they all have old Goodwill $1.99 stickers? I think it was somebody that just showed up to a Goodwill on a weekly basis and just bought whatever they enjoyed. But uh, people were amazed that the collection was really pretty nice. But um, I don't know, I didn't quite see it there. This one here was marked $1.99 C3 as is. I don't know where, why that's on there. And it's also marked Goodwill $1.99 as is because the back of it was um, opened there. But that's because that's a stand that you make for this Fonzie record here. Um, this Happy Days album. I already have it. Unfortunately, I'll try to get rid of this glare here. It's not, uh, not going away. I don't have a light on here. And there's the back of it. You make that into a stand. As I said, I already have one of these, but I might combine the two and make a good copy of both of them. So we'll see. 
and then they smell pretty bad too. Um, the kinks give people what they want. Uh, somebody said they they saw it yesterday and left it. Why would you leave it for a dollar a dollar twenty nine? A kinks album that doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. The kinks um, try to get this on film here. There we go. That's what's going on there. There we go. And again, it says all merchandise sold as is. It almost looks like it was 95 cents or whatever at some point. And then some sort of initials over that. Not sure what that's all about there. The record looked like it had a few fingerprints on it. Um, but this looks like it's in pretty good condition. Otherwise, it's a good playing copy. And it's not a good, it's not a valuable copy. The rest of it was like Montavani and all kinds of other who knows what. Um, Charlie Pride and... Uh, Linda Ronstadt and Irish Rovers and just I don't know just can't um, but there were two copies of American Hot Wax I'm trying to get this on here original soundtrack album from the Paramount Motion Mi Motion Picture American Hot Wax specially priced two record set featuring the original 50s recordings by Chuck Berry, Little Richard, Jackie Wilson, Buddy Holly and others as well as live performances from the film's Brooklyn Paramount concert and um, this looks like it was some sort of promotional, uh, there's a cutout there. You can't avoid that sometimes. That's sometimes always the only way you can find these albums. There's more or less the back of it. And then there's the middle of it. One of the cool things about here, it features a young Jay Leno as a greaser or something like that. So that's kind of cool. He played Mike. So that's kind of weird. And there's Cheryl. I want to say that's um, Fran Drescher. Is that Fran Drescher right there? I'm not sure. Don't know these things. It has a friend Drescher look to it. Um, and there's a bunch of other people here I'm not familiar with. I don't think I have seen the movie here. But that's a cool two record set and they charged me as one. Because she just said, oh, do you have three albums? I said, yes, I have three albums. One of these albums has a little extra to it. Uh, the Kinks album. Because I needed this. And I just slipped it in there. Because why not? It came out of a record. Might as well put it in the one I'm buying. And this is the Gambler poster from Kenny Rogers, the Gambler. And the one I have is in absolutely shot condition. It's really going to be terribly hard to see. And like I said, the glare is just absolutely crazy this morning. So I have no idea. But there is Kenny Rogers, the Gambler. Almost every copy I've found of this record has got the poster. But this is the only one that's been mint. One was another promotional cutout. And it had a big hole punched in the poster. And the other one was all dog-eared. So I can throw that one away keep this one. So I hope you enjoyed that. A little long video and thank you for watching.